Hello and welcome to a new video about measurement. We're talking about temperature measurement. And for temperature measurement, I have a quite unusual question in the beginning for you. Do you know what is the speed of sound? Hmm? Well, probably some of you know that the speed of sound is roughly 343 meters per second. So, this is what we usually read in some tables. Yeah? So, speed of sound cs is 400, uh, 343 and if you're looking closely it's 46 meters per second right. this is what we read in which circumstances well we say norm circumstances this means one pressure of one atmosphere yeah, and at 20 degrees Celsius. We have exactly this. Because the speed of sound is heavily depending on, on the pressure or on the density actually of the material, this is depending on pressure and this is also depending on temperature. Right? So for instance, if we have 50 degree, The speed of sound is no longer 343 meters per second, it's already 360.57 meters per second. Aha! Uh -huh. Now we're coming close to, to how we how these things are linked together. Yeah, the speed of sound and temperature. Since the speed of sound is depending on the temperature on, and on pressure, yeah, we could use it, like for instance, here at minus 10 degree, uh, we have a speed of sound of 325. So there is quite a difference, right? There's quite a difference. I will make also some other numbers inside. So let's say 30, 349, dot 29 meters per second. So you see, it's really depending. Yeah? Speed of sound is depending on the temperature. And now, if I make here one and here a second. This is a transmit and this is a receiver. Very close to this, to this yeah? transmitter receiver very close to, the, close to this ultrasonic thing, but separated. Yeah? So, and this is sending out now a sound with a certain frequency. Yeah? Hear the sound? We know exactly when we issued the sound. We measure exactly when we received the sound. And since we have mounted this in a certain way, here, this distance is known exactly. Yeah? And it's constant. The difference or that the measured time is reflecting not only the distance, but also the temperature, the average temperature of the gas in between. Mm. So there is an average where I can measure with this setup. Yeah? Since I know the distance exactly, the average temperature in the path of my sound by evaluating what speed of sound we measure. You see? At, if we want to measure distance with this thing, so we are waiting for an echo from some material, yeah, then this would influence, this is a source of error. Yeah? systematic error for our measurement. When the speed of sound is changing, we have to correct this when we measure the distance. If we say we know the distance and measure, then we can measure a totally different thing than average temperature in the sound channel. So there is no upside without downside. The same effect is, is disturbing one measurement and is enabling the other measurement. <laughs> 
this is always a technique, it's always... And now, if we do not only one measurement, but several measurements, yeah, so that we say, okay, we have here transmit and here receive, we have here a transmit and here second receive, we have here a transmit and here receive, and we have here transmit and here receive, yeah, and we know the average temperatures of all those path, sound path, we can calculate with a clever algorithm, we can calculate the heat distribution in an area without being there. Right? We just shout through a, a chamber filled with hot gas yeah? and we can measure <laughs> the heat distribution in this chamber yeah? by clever algorithm, yeah? Yeah? By, right, by combining more of these measurements, a heat distribution. can be calculated. So we have an oven yeah, or a heater in a big heater yeah, in a steam vessel or I don't know somewhere like this. We can measure the heat temperature in this in this boiler, in this heater, in this in this in the incredible. Yeah. So travel time here we say travel time. reflects average gas temperature. This is how acoustic gas temperature measurement is working. Just shout through and hear or determine how long it took to reach the opposite side. Yeah, so with this pretty clever. I think it's a very neat measurement. Yeah? With this pretty clever, neat measurement, we are ending the, the temperature measurement things. Yeah? Next thing we are going to talk about is uh, flow measurement. So we have some pipe, hose, whatever, yeah? and we want to measure how much liquid, how much gas, how much stuff is rushing through there, how many cubic meters per second, how many liters per second, how many... like that. Huh? Flow measurement. Next topic, next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.